Well, today we're looking at the new release from Soundcraft, of course, the SI Impact Console. 32 preamps, 40 mix channels, 31 buses. What do you reckon, Jace? Yeah, well, it's pretty amazing at this price point, especially with the old Soundcraft written on it. Look, they've, they've really thought I about it. I don't think they've here. ever come up with anything that has this much functionality at mm. this price. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Um, other nice things I've got to say about it, the slight redesign compared to the other SI series of uh, the ergonomics. They've sort of shifted the screen over a little bit. And shifted just, all the encoders and spread it out a little bit more. Yeah. It's a slightly bigger screen too, and it yeah. just feels better to use. It's just better. Um, it's very small tweaks, but it just it just feels a lot more operable and easier and faster. Mm. And also extra points for you know full EQ control, which is one of my things that I like on a desk. Um, full parametric, you've got um, frequency uh, gain and Q. So all there under your fingers. I like that we've got delay on every input and output. I like also yeah. that I've discovered this feature, which is when you choose a mix bus, you can auto select the master for that so you can then jump straight into the EQs. Nice. That's, uh, that's very good if you're looking to try and quickly set up monitors or something like that. Mm. Now, as mentioned, 32 preamps on board. Mm. Eight of those have got combo jacks so you can plug in instruments and stuff directly. Plus we've got a slot for an option card. Plus we've got a second slot which already has an option card in it when you buy the console. Yeah, it's pretty good. Comes with MADI and USB connectivity in the option card. Uh, the USB interface is 32 by 32. So you've got 32 preamps, you can do a 32 channel. So you can record all of yeah. your channels, which yeah. makes sense. It's really great. And MADI, you can link to the stage boxes or indeed other consoles if you run out of input channels. Or if you this, want to share head amps. Yeah, which makes this extremely flexible. Mm. Yeah, and the aforementioned uh, delay on the inputs, that's obviously a lot of DSP. So, you know, they, they've not been stingy with it. With no, everything else they've got agreed, going on. agreed. Yeah. Um, look, they're really the only physical thing I'm not mad keen on is the location of the headphone socket, but that's not going to bother everyone. It's a pre personal thing. Yeah. Um, I like that it's got built-in lexicons. I, I like the iPad app. I yeah. don't like the offline editor. I feel like that's clunky, but the iPad thing's great. Mm -hmm. um, just plug in a wireless access point, DHCP, connect to that, download the app. Oh, mm, it yeah. works. Yeah, I think getting And it, it's a really smart, it's a really good looking, really easy to navigate iPad yeah, app too. It is, it is. Some of them don't it's make great. sense, so yeah. this one's a good one. Yeah, look, I think uh, with Soundcraft's build quality and the name at this price, I think it's a bit of a killer. Yeah, I think so too. Well, look, thanks very much for joining us for the review today. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.